I'm going to talk about this evening is the microbiome in scalp health and disease. Um, as Ian said, I'm director of the Centre for Skin Sciences, but I'm also director of, of a very new UK ageing network on the skin microbiome in healthy ageing. This was set up 18 months ago, and it's part of a bigger consortium of ageing networks to try and understand how we can help, uh, age um, more healthily. So what's the biome? Um, a biome is really um, about the environment. And if we think about the planet, um, you can classify the, the biome according to the plants and animals that would live in it. So, and this would be dictated by the temperature, the soil, the amount of light and water. And that would, all of this determines what kind of life exists in a biome. You can, we can think about the human um, body as a biome. Um, because we have um, different types of bacteria, viruses, uh, yeast, mites living um, on our body, in our mouth, in our digestive system, and uh, obviously on our skin. The microbiota, the bacteria, the viruses, and the fungi, and the mites that live on our skin, and the, the, the type and the numbers uh, very much will vary very much depending up on our environment, our diet will influence it, our lifestyle, hormones, and also aging. Next, please. So the microbiome means the microbiota and all their metabolites because they don't just sit passively on our skin or in our body, they are actually um, making uh, molecules. So now we can think about this skin barrier, this skin barrier as not only a physical barrier and a chemical barrier, but also we have this micro, microbiome barrier on the uh, on the surface, but also um, it, they also uh, go into the pores and in, into the sebaceous gland and the hair follicles. Basically, the skin microbiota produce a range of molecules, and this is called collectively the microbiome. And they can synthesize these de novo, or they can use our uh, products, uh, particularly lipids that we make on our skin, or the lipids produced from the sebaceous glands, and they can metabolize these. So the molecules may be either ones they've made de novo or metabolized from the host. Um, and we know that they have a very... Um, intimate relationship with our immune system because we don't we don't have an immune response to these microbes unless we get dysbiosis so there's a bidirectional talk between the microbiome uh, and the host but having said that although there's been a lot of research on the gut microbiome and we know more about healthy gut microbiomes and and how important it is to keep keep it healthy we don't really know a lot about the skin microbiome and and their functions but we do know obviously that they have they have an important um function in our in, in in our barrier in our skin barrier and they interact very much with our immune cells so we're not seeing that immune response to bacteria the commensal bacteria that help to keep our skin healthy and when we get this and it's thought also that they keep the pathogenic bacteria at bay um so the skin and the microbiome associated with the skin and we know there's probably about more than a thousand different types of microbes on our skin um it actually changes with age and it aligns very closely with the aging immune system so we know that the microbiome is changing as we age and how this impacts our skin health um, is again something that we um, we really don't understand. So the microbiome on the skin isn't one size fits all. Our skin is very different in different sites of the body. So we have oily skin, so our, our face, we have large spacious glands. Um, we have dry skin, so the, the forearms would be classed as, as dry. And then our, our feet and hands, where we don't have spacious glands, but we have lots of sweat glands these are described as moist. And so you can see by just looking at the, <clears throat> the bacteria and the fungi, how very different, and then the whole kingdom, how very different they are between the different body sites. And some um, body sites are, have pre a predominance of particular 
uh, bacteria like uh, like piacnes or epidermis um, and this will vary depending upon what the skin produces.